Hello everyone, welcome back to a, another quick fix video. Sorry about the quality, I just want to get this out here as soon as possible. So, I uninstalled Fortnite because I raged at the game. And I wanted to install it back just a couple of minutes later because that's what you do. Um, unfortunately, that's what this game does to you. Uh, but anyway, it, it was under my library already installed. Uh, well, uh, ready to install because it was under my installed games. Um, so when I wanted to install it back, I got this error message saying directory must be empty. So I was like, oh my gosh, this game is really bad. Um, so I started ticking and unticking these boxes. It doesn't do anything. Then when I thought, uh, then I thought because it says must be empty. I don't know why I thought this, but maybe it, maybe I thought um, that it was something to do with my open tabs here at the bottom. So I closed all of my tabs, but still this error message popped up. So I found a fix, and I'm just going to be uploading it for you guys. So what you want to do is you want to just exit out of Epic Games, and then you want to come over to the bottom left of your, your search bar, and then you want to type up run, and then this sh should appear, and then you just want to open it. Also, another way that you might be able to do this if that doesn't work is go over to your Windows tabs, and then it should just be um, here, uh, but obviously for me, it is uh, under the uh, the type to search bit, and then just you need to just search up run, and then open. So I've already done this, um, but I'm going to uh, show you what you need to do. So you need to type exactly that in. Um, now all these slashes here are. The, these types of slashes, the one that goes from left to right, straight down, not these type of slashes that go right, uh, that go left to right. So that's very important that you get that right. Um, so that is what you need to type in. Also, program files, you need to leave a space there, and Epic Games, you need to leave a space there. I will put a, um, in the description this uh, this code so you can copy and paste it. Um, if you're watching this on your phone and you want to install it back to your PC, you can just copy the link um, on your phone, send it to yourself via Gmail, and then uh, paste it in um, to your PC. Anyway, so once you've uh, typed that up, you want to just click OK, and then this should pop up. So there's a folder here. It's Fortnite game, and then in, in that Fortnite folder, there's all of this stuff. That I've not a clue, uh, not a clue about. Okay, it's just all of the new things that have been added and everything. It's actually quite cool if you want to like uh, know what's going on in the game, but uh, you don't want to go that far down. You just want to go. Um, you just want to make sure that you're just got the Fortnite game folder. Then basically, all you need to do is delete it. Uh, the folder will be deleted. Go onto the recycle bin. And make sure that it is uh, completely uh, deleted. So empty recycle bin. Permanently delete. Okay. So once you've done that, now you want to go on to Epic Games again. And then basically just install Fortnite like you would before. Fortnite. There we are. There's no error, error message. Um, I would recommend doing auto update and create shortcut. But it's completely up to you. Install. And apart from the three, four hours that you have to wait for it to install back, which sucks, you have got your Fortnite game back. Hopefully this did work for you. If it did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It would really help. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in my next video.